Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about how can I use Meta AI? That's right, the AI arms race is lighting up and Meta is the latest company to launch its AI chatbot. There are dozens out there across the globe, but Meta is probably one of the largest to have recently released a new chatbot. Now there's some confusion of how Meta AI works because you've got Meta.ai, the website, and you also have Meta, which is embedded within Facebook, Instagram, Facebook Messenger, and WhatsApp. So which one do you use? Well, the purpose of Meta's AI is to give a chatbot to everyone. Meta is completely free, meaning that you have access to its powerful Llama 3 large language model chatbot without having to set up a subscription, although it helps if you set up Meta. But I'll show you what the big differences are and how you can take advantage of this chatbot. Now, we're first going to start off with Meta, the website, Meta AI, and then we'll move on to doing a screen share of Meta and how to help get rid of some of that confusion when using the Meta app or integration for your Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram. So let's switch screens real quick and go to a desktop. So at a desktop, logging into any browser, you can get to Meta by going to meta.ai. Now Meta interface is no different than some of the other popular chatbots out there. If you were to look at ChatGPT, as you can see the layout is pretty much the same with it asking, how can I help you today? You also have the option of going to Copilot and it asking or just saying that it's your everyday companion. And then finally, with Gemini, same thing. Hello, how can I help you today? So there are some differences in the actual chat box, but overall they're all laid out the same so that you can pretty much have a universal experience with whatever chatbot. Now going back to our chatbot screen with Meta AI, show the desktop here. Uh, one of these days we will. There we go. Now, oh, one of these days we'll get it. There we go. So if you wanted to look at the layout or look at the prompts, the same as any AI chatbot. Now you, at the lower left-hand corner, you have an option to either sign in to Facebook or you can use it without the logging in. But prompts are pretty simple like you would on any social media channel. If you wanted to click on make my email sound more professional, it'll give you tips on how you could make your email sound more professional. Now, as far as prompts are concerned, they're universal. You can use any prompt that you would use with Copilot, ChatGPT, or Gemini, but just keep in mind that this uses a different large language model. So it may pull up information a little bit differently than some of the other chatbots, which is kind of a good thing to diversify when it comes to using AI chatbots. Now to kind of give you an example of how it would work if I'm not logged in, I'm gonna go back to our desktop. Once we're in our desktop, I'm going to open up the web browser Opera. Once Opera is open, I'm going to go to meta.ai, and I've never logged into Meta with this account. As you can see, I have the option to log in with Facebook when using the Meta AI. But let's uh, go to support. Help me with an assignment. So we're going to let Meta bring back the information based on the prompt. And as you can see, I'm not logged into Facebook, so it's an open tool that anyone can use in order if they want to access AI 
without having to set up an account. Now, typically, if you have a Facebook account, if you want to save your prompts and the conversations that you have with AI, then you can log in with your Facebook account. Hope you can see that. And those are some things that I've entered in. Now, another thing that we have to look at with Meta AI is the fact that it is a little different when it comes to how it utilizes its prompts. It's broken down currently by a new conversation and, of course, uh, imagine. So a new conversation would be if you were to use an AI prompt. It just so happens I can bring one up. So let's copy a prompt from a document I have. We're going to post it into Meta and then have it do its thing. Now we've got right an elevator pitch. And here we go. It's bringing it on. And there's our prompt. Now some AI tools, it may be a little bit more robust when we do our prompt, which is why it's important to make sure that you find the AI chatbot that will work for you. Something else different with Meta AI is it does have image generation, but it uses the word imagine sometimes. So let's go to imagine. And once we click on imagine, if I do it right, it's going to bring up some AI generated images and some of the things that we can do. Uh, so if you want to imagine something, we could do Batman. So let's say imagine, or actually, let's imagine Superman flying up. And as you can see, what's interesting about Meta's AI image, if you do imagine, it starts to bring up the images in instantly. We'll type in Superman flying over Metropolis. And then this is the general image. But once we hit go, it's going to give us one, two, three, four different images that we can work with in order to help us get closer to the AI image that we want. Now that Meta's done, we can go back to our desktop and there are the images of Superman flying over Metropolis. Now, if you click on edit, it will ask you to, to make changes to the image or images because there's each one. Uh, let's X out of that. Ah, I didn't go need to go so far. So if I goof, I can go back to history, bring up that conversation. And one of the things that we want to do is to click on animate. And what it will do is for all four images, it will animate those images and give it kind of a GIF or a GIF type of uh, process to enhance your images. Now, one of the things that Meta can't do with images is that currently as of this video, you can't upload your own images and have AI modify those images. But the image generator is great and it will allow you to at least generate some images that you need to create with AI. And as you can see, does a pretty good job as far as image creation is, is concerned. Now, let's deal with the hard part. We're going to minimize Meta here and we're going to bring up the in focus uh, tool that is going to allow us, or mirror two, which will allow us to take a look at how Meta is going to work on a smartphone. So after, give me a few seconds, let's switch to desktop. We've got Facebook up, and as you can see in the upper right hand corner, you can see, or you could have seen the Meta tool. As you, now, as you can see, it's flipping back and forth from the Meta tool to the search tool. Now, if we were to click on search, it's going to bring us to Meta. And it's like, what the heck is going on? Now, you can either use some of the pre program prompts inside of Meta in Facebook, or you can type in your own query. Like I want to say, uh, imagine, uh, let's see here. We'll do Batman this time. And um, we're going to hit the go. And then there are some images that I've done with Meta AI powered by Llama 
but as you can see at the bottom it is going to generate another image and again I can like or love this image but it should also give me the option to go in and animate this image by clicking on for more will allow you to copy it or save it to your computer but there is an option that you can tell it to animate said image now again let's get out of Facebook let's go into Instagram and see what we get um, let's see here we can go to search down at the bottom once we go under search then you can ask meta anything and then of course there's your standard searches that you would have with Instagram and then finally after going back home we're going to exit out of that do a search for WhatsApp and show you where the meta tool is again if um, I don't know why well city added me but let's go ahead and get out of WhatsApp let's try to go into it again and under the search option I don't want to do a chat backup there you see it there is meta or search and it's up here in the corner and one of the things that I forgot to mention is that we go back to Facebook and let's say you want to get out of that meta search and get back to uh, your standard messaging so what you would do is go to the upper right hand corner click on messages and then it should take you to oh, let me go back well there's a new message if you want to get back to there but as far as a standard search there's really no way to turn that off you're just gonna have to deal with meta and how it works in Facebook Instagram and WhatsApp as far as using it as a chat bot now if you want to use it as a plain chat bot go to meta.com excuse me meta.ai to do your AI searches but you also have the ability to allow it to utilize it from your smartphone remember don't do any searches for the meta.ai app because there is none they're built into whatsapp facebook and instagram and facebook messenger so remember to use those tools to do your meta ai searches so there you have it hope it makes it a little bit easier for you to utilize meta either on your Windows or Macintosh computer or within your Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp app. With every video, I always ask that you comment, like, or share because I know that you know somebody who is struggling with technology and needs help with this ongoing world of tech that we are experiencing. So with every video, my goal is to help you and others get more from the technology they use at home and at life or in life i think that's the right word anyway i love technology i've read all the manuals and i'm serious about making technology fun safe and easy to use for everyone so take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile and thanks for watching